you are doing so much more than they thought you would be doing right now. You have amounted to a lot more than the doubters thought you would have amounted to. You're doing just, you're on a whole different level right now. And you're doing so well for yourself. Congratulations. Unfortunately, you may have had a lot of doubters in your corner who were really very hesitant to believe that you could make it, that you can make something of yourself, but you did. Not only did you make something of yourself, you're doing so much better than what was expected. Even from yourself, I wouldn't be surprised, all right? You're doing better than they thought you'd be doing right now. You're just doing better in general. You're doing, you're, you're having a lot more coming to you in way of rewards and just blessings and prosperity. All of that has been working out for you. You're getting everything that you wanted or everything that you have worked for. Everything that you said you were gonna do, you did it. And you're getting the benefits from your actions, the actions that you took. You did not stay dormant. You did not wait for a miracle. You hopped onto it. You got things done. And this is why you're seeing mega results. You're seeing results because you put in that work and you held the faith. But not everybody had faith in you. Not everybody believed in you that you would be able to make it out of your situation if it was a negative one and into a more favorable position that is leading you to higher places you're doing better than a lot of people thought you're just doing a lot better maybe they thought that you would need them to do better and you showed them that you never needed them and you're still doing better not only better not only good not only satisfactory or just to get by you're on a whole other level people cannot reach where you're at you're at higher heights you're doing huge things to where people could not have fathomed that this was going to be the outcome that you were going to get or be in this is the outcome. The outcome is that you're a go-getter. You're a go-getter and the outcome that is coming from being a go-getter is the rewards. You're a hard hitter, man. You're, you've been doing your thing and people are seeing that they really doubted you about how far you were going to be willing to go to get everything that you needed from this world. And you've been hustling. You've been doing a really good job. And, you know, people are recognizing that, that they spoke too soon. They celebrated too soon. They thought that maybe you would never be victorious as you traverse through life and just trying to get your bearings in life and trying to make something of yourself. I know how that's like, you know, really, it, sometimes you feel like you're on unshake, like a uh, very shaky ground, unstable foundation. So many years I've dealt with these feelings of not really knowing if I'm making the right choices because I'm not seeing any signs. I'm not seeing uh, the blessings flood in. I'm not seeing certain hints or synchronicities that are showing that my efforts are working. So I know how that's like to not be fully in the know or not be fully you know, confident that I'm even doing the right thing because of the doubters and because of the, you know, just not being confident enough, not keeping the faith all the time. There came a time when you, you, you know, you said to yourself, I have to stop playing around. I got to stop playing around and I know what I'm capable of. So I better stop playing games and start making the steps, start taking action on my life because I know where I'm going to be. I know where I want to be at. I kind of got to do the work to get there. It's not going to just fall in my lap. I know I got to do the work because I want to see myself in a certain position. But there was a lot of people probably around you too, filled with doubt about whether or not you were going to be able to fulfill this or to fulfill all the things that you said you were going to do. But you have. You have and it's not a joke. You're the one that's, you know, showing people that you're doing well. You're doing well. Have you ever been, has, have people ever been surprised that you're doing well? they're acting like it's a surprise it's this big grand reveal oh you're actually okay right now you're actually good you don't actually need us or need you know you're good you did that on your own like how did you do that on your own because we didn't think that, and they feel they act like they're in disbelief let it be known in the comments if you feel like people are surprised that you're good right now that you're doing well that you're happy that you're elevating what you know first of all <laughs> what were they thinking here you know, but of course, you know, people are going to fill our heads with doubt, but there's no doubt that they know that you're going to do it, right? So they had to even dumb themselves down to believe that, to believe it, 
to believe this fake, this falsehood that somehow you were never going to be able to be good in life, to be stable, to be sound, to be uh, prosperous. There could have been a lot of instances where people actually thought that you were going to break and crumble, that there could have been, uh, you know, you there was nothing to help you, there was nothing to save you, there was no redeeming you, there was no you going up. Maybe people really resigned to the thought that you were just never going to make it, but they're seeing now you're good. You understand? They're seeing you are good. Like you're doing way better than they thought. You're exceeding all expectations. You're surpassing people in the process. Not that you're aiming to do that, by the way, like we know this, but it's just simply what's happening here that not only are people surprised that you're doing better than they thought, a lot of times you're surpassing them. You're surpassing a lot of people who maybe were in the front, you know, in front of you. It reminds me of the tortoise and the hare. I, I have referenced that a few times on the Mindset Elevator. It's kind of like that tale, isn't it? That fable where the hare is cocky. The hare is cocky and, you know, it's like, I'm, I know I'm going to beat you. There's no competition here. I'm just going to rest for a while or, you know stop talking to you for a while and just hang out chill because there's no way you're going to catch up to me and the tortoise who takes their slow time it may be a slow build up slow build up of momentum to get you going and then by the time that the hare looks around it's like you're already at the finish spot you're, you're at the finish line your first place that wasn't supposed to take place. You're doing so much better, so much. Like, yeah, sure, you could have caught up and matched what everybody else was doing, but that wasn't the case. It's like you surpassed what people thought. People didn't think you would be able to do what you're doing right now, what they're witnesses of. You know, it's, it's a wondrous thing. It's beautiful. Outside's beautiful right now, too. It's really crazy that we prove ourselves wrong every day and the world is full of dreariness and, and 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 you know just misery and it can get to us and it can get us get into our heads and other people's heads about who's going to do what and how something going to be perpetrated how someone something's going to be carried out i'm telling you it's like people are seeing that not only are you doing well you're exceeding all expectations you know you surpassed what they thought you would you're doing things that they didn't think you were gonna do at the minimum level you understand what I'm saying so it's like people are seeing that you're good you're doing a lot better for yourself and you're surpassing some of them you're surpassing them that just wasn't even a part of the plan that wasn't supposed to take place you weren't supposed to be ahead of them the ones that are telling you that you're not gonna even do the bare minimum right so it's very interesting very very interesting so you're doing a lot better than they thought you're doing a lot better than what the majority thought you would be doing at this current time and the reason why is because you're destined for greatness it is not a game it's not no type of joke you are destined for greatness that means everything you touch is gonna be something it's gonna be something special when people have the opportunity to collaborate with you man they don't understand how how much how they're, they're in good hands when they're working with you or when you grace that workplace and they decide to get rid of you because they want to target you or they write you up and it's like after you leave, they see now you were the most valuable asset to that company, that organization, firm, whatever the case might be. You were the most valuable person in that team. But because of jealousy, self-loathing, competition, they had to get rid of you or they had to write you off. And then they don't see until after the fact, after you're not there, everything's not right anymore. Nothing's right. I'm telling you, that family, you're helping people out. You're showing people because you learned and you did the work. You're doing better than they thought. So it's like a lot of people, they don't understand. Like you're gracing people. You're gracing people with just you being you, the spectacle of you getting everything you want and more and you exceeding all expectations because that's just what you were supposed to do. You weren't supposed to just be here accepting the crumbs. You know what I mean? Like you're the baker. <laughs> you're the baker. You know what I mean? Like you have it in the bag. You've been having it.
just because you didn't have everything in alignment at all times does not mean that you were good for nothing or were never gonna be nothing things take time to grow mindsets number one sometimes it takes a long time to get your mind right but once that happens man it's like you know there's no cap to your success there's no cap to your greatness people are seeing that your mindset changed your attitude changed so your circumstances changed for the better your work ethic changed for the better the way you move in life the you know the moves that you make everything how you talk to people how you how you collaborate how you put forth how you live life how you give to humanity how you traverse through the world i mean you're doing a lot better than people thought naturally. What happened? It's like this grand transformation. Stay on your transformative journey, your transformative odyssey, okay? Because a lot of people are starting to see now that you are so much more and you have done and achieved so much more than they thought you were going to achieve. They didn't think this was even possible, by the way, that the bare minimum was going to be attainable by you. You've achieved that, you've surpassed that. You're doing way better than they all thought. Congratulations, everybody. Keep doing well, keep doing well. I hope you guys like this video. Thank you guys for supporting the Mindset Elevator. I hope you guys have been enjoying July uh, 2024. July has been not bad, you know, just really warm, really nice. And it's all about continuing to elevate and be better than we were yesterday, last week, last month, last year. I mean, it's all about going up. It's all about revealing and exposing what's not right, you know, and and just real talk. That's what I like to give. All right, everybody. So I hope you guys like that. Hope you guys like this video. Thank you guys so much for supporting. I love you guys so much and stay up, stay well.